Hello everyone. Welcome to Retail Promotion Class. In this video, we will discuss about sales promotion, which is one of the four aspects of promotion mix. The other three aspects are advertising, public relation, and personal selling. At the end of this class, you should be able to understand and define sales promotion, identify sales promotional tools which are consumer promotional tools and trade promotional tools. Now, what do you understand by sales promotion? The short term use of incentives or promotional technique to encourage your customer to buy the product or service. Therefore, the set of techniques or activities which are used to increase sales of product or service is called sales promotion. So, from the definition, we can understand the following characteristics of sales promotion that it is mostly short term in nature and its only objective is to promote sales quickly. Next, we will now identify different types of sales promotional tools, consumer promotional tools and trade promotional tools. Some commonly used consumer promotional tools are free samples, coupons, premiums or free gifts rebates, price packs, rewards, games or contests. Discounts and allowances are under trade promotional tools. This sales promotional tools are used by organizations including manufacturers, distributors and retailers. Let's now discuss each of these promotional tools one by one. The first one is free sample. Free samples are usually distributed to attract customer when the product is newly launched. The customers are asked to try the product for free. The purpose of distributing free samples is to create new customer and increase the sales volume at the early stage of product life cycle. These are some examples of trial samples which are offered by retailers for different products and services. Next, coupons. Coupons can be presented to the retailer while buying the product. The holder of the coupon gets the product at a discount. Best examples are coupons by pizza restaurants like Domino's Pizza Hut. These coupons are at a minimum cost as a bonus. It is used to attract competitors, customers for different sizes of established product. Now, premiums. Premiums are offered free or at a minimum cost as a bonus. There are two types of premiums, free premiums and self-liquidating premiums. Free premiums, it only require purchase of the product. For example, buy one pizza and get one free. Self-liquidating premiums require customers to pay some amount or all of the cost of premium. For example, if you buy a blazer of above 5000 rupees, you get 20% off. Rebates and refunds. It happens only after consumers purchase product. Refund is when full amount of purchase price is returned. Rebate is when partial refund is given to the customer once the receipt of the purchase product is given to the company. You can take example of Paytm where they offer cashback if we avail some of their services and products. Next, very common sales promotional tool is contest or games where the retailers organize competitive events for consumers. Customers who buy a product will stand a chance to participate and win if they are lucky. Nowadays, online contests have become very easy and important. They also penetrate faster and reach a lot of customers. Of course, all of us have played Spin and Win on Amazon, which is very popular among online shopping. Now, rewards or points. Some retail shops have a scheme which require the customer to be member of the shop and to acquire a membership card. And every time the customer makes a purchase, bonus points are added to the card. Example, membership card from Shopstop, Reliance, Central. 
Also, some banks have a scheme where they provide membership card and the customer can collect reward points. Next is price packs. Price packs are combination of products on sale for the same price. For example, when a conditioner is offered with shampoo. A combo pack of toothbrush free with toothpaste. Let's come to discounts or price offs. To clear at the end of season sale, retailers offer their product at a discounted price, which remain for a limited period of time. You might have observed various strategies of discounts like 50% off or up to 40% off during the sale period. The last is allowances. A price reduction offered by manufacturers to retailers and wholesalers is called allowances. It is a trade promotional tool which is directed at wholesaler and retailers. So all these tools are used by retailer to do sales promotion which has often an eye-catching appeal. Customers can have fun particularly with contest games and competitions and it helps to draw customer traffic and maintain loyalty to the retailers that's all for today's class hope you are clear and understood today's lesson objective thank you for watching the video